guys, Dr. Lavin here. So today our video is going to be about smoking and its effect on us and how we can potentially simulate how our lungs are going to feel if we continue to smoke. So I know it's a very, very difficult subject. A lot of us struggle to actually find ways to reduce our addiction. But the most important thing is obviously it's the long-term effects on our cardiovascular, so our heart system, as well as the risk of cancers. And that doesn't necessarily have to mean lung cancer. That can actually mean bowel and breast and other cancers. So the technique we're going to use is a breathing technique. So I'm going to ask all of you to breathe in to up to 100% of your capacity. So if you can just follow me now, opening your mouth and taking a deep breath in. This time, I'll need you to go up to 80% and I'll want you to come back down again. So again, up to 80% and down. Now the final time, I'll need you to go up to 80% but then make your way up to 100 and back down to 80 and back up to 100. And that's the feeling that we're trying to recreate. So deep breath into 100, drop to 80, up to 100, drop to 80, and down. So that feeling where we're going between the 80 and 100 is exactly how it feels like and that's a concept known as dead space and it's how it feels like when we do develop damage to our lung also known as COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Now this condition unfortunately is very very common in smokers and it's the damage that causes the lung that makes us feel like this. Sometimes I use this technique on some of my patients to explain to them what the damage is going to be like when they're older and thankfully it does have a very very deep effect on some of my patients who come back in afterwards requesting a chest x-ray to make sure the lung damage is adequate or manageable so far and the hope is they can actually stop smoking after that. So if you do have any family, friends or yourself a smoker, please try and recreate that technique and just see how it feels like to be like that and you may be able to have a small feeling of what it feels like to be a smoker who've been, who's been doing it for many, many years and now struggles with their breathing. Of course, those people who do suffer with the smoking, we obviously have an inhalers and other products. However, the damage that is caused is unfortunately sometimes irreversible. So we do want to try and stop smoking as early as possible. Thanks for watching.